Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. We are going to be going over Should You Summon for the new uh, Awakened Easton and Mono, the base Mono. I called her Awakened Easton or Awakened Mono in my PvP video on accident. But yeah, we're going to be showcasing, or not showcasing, but showing off her kit. And right now we're going to be showing off the banner, which I'll probably have to pull up because I completely forgot to bring it up. But yeah, um, overall, like, they're pretty decent. Like, I mean, except. Margaret completely cucks Easton. Like, there's no way around it. Like, she has a deplete ultimate gauge orb, which is cool. You know, sure, awesome. Uh, and then she has an oxidation card, which is new. Um, oxidation, it ranks down enemy skills at the end of the enemy's turn. For every skill ranked down, it inflicts damage equal to 10% of max HP. So, I mean, it does damage, I guess, but it's not that great, especially because Margaret can cleanse, and it goes away like the green Gother debuff, where it goes away at the end of the enemy's turn. And then at rank 3, it goes up to... 30% of max HP. So, I mean, it's decent, but it's not, like, that great. She has zero light. I hate when they put zero subsets. I think it's very stupid. Give them, like, something. But then her ultimate is also very specific and niche. So is Mono's, but it's not as bad, I guess. Um, what hers is, is reduces the damage taken for the 7 Catastrophe uh, allies by 3% for every ultimate move gauge orb in battle. So now if you are in 4v4, which is on global right now, uh, and you run a full uh, 70s catastrophe team, you could probably do pretty well. If you run Easton, MK2, maybe Red Lilia, maybe, because you know she takes uh, ultimate gauge orbs, uh, AoE, and then maybe Shin. Uh, I don't know, there's probably a better team, but that's just the one off the top of my head. Maybe instead of uh, red Lilia, you could use blue Lilia because she has a heal. She has ult, ga ult gauge drain AOE, literally the same as Lilia, so maybe that would be better. Um, but other than that, without it being 4v4, I don't really see it being that great because there is no cap on this. So you could get up to, alright, let's see, that would be 20 ultimate gauge, 60% damage reduction, which sounds nice in theory, but I've seen multiple videos with Nagato and really trying it out. Like, those are the two ones that I've seen actually like try this. And it just doesn't seem like it's actually 60% damage reduction. I, I don't know how they explained it, but it's not just a flat out 60% damage reduction. There's something else behind it. And so it's not really that effective at all, really. It's just kind of disappointing. So there's that. She's also a red unit, so Margaret completely cucks her in that way as well. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to be moving on to Mono, which is actually a fun unit. Uh, she's not meta or anything. She's kind of like a Sario, not as great. Like, she can definitely do very, very well, but just not as, you know, like, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think she's as consistent because, yeah, she doesn't really have a passive. Sario has a passive where it increases all angels' uh, basic stats by 20%, which is really, really nice. Um, but Mono's passive is, uh, if allies in battle are all seven catastrophes, when allies receive damage from attack skills, increases all of the heroes of stats by 3%. Now, I forgot to bring it up, but if you go here, the reason why this is like really like bad is because if you go to Mikasa, a unit that is over a year old now at this point, uh, why go away? Uh, it's the exact same thing. But there's no there's no hindrance. You don't have to bring in a certain unit. It's just you take damage, you get it. I think Tank Di or the uh, OG Blue Diane has something like that as well, or maybe it just increases every turn. I can't quite remember. I think it's the opposite. I think if Diane gets attacked, then she gets boost. Can't really remember. But uh, yeah, like literally, she's only known for her passive. Everything else is kind of meh. Like she has a really bad card, secret technique. Like th they should be increased or at least single target and then increase the damage. I don't know. But yeah, like. I don't understand why they put the exact same thing. And they... Wait, no, I think it's limited. Yeah, it's limited 10 times no matter what. And it applies when entering battle, but Mikasa's doesn't activate when entering battle. It's just there, I assume. I assume So I assume it works in the back, but maybe they just haven't updated it. I don't know. But uh, we'll go into her cards now. She has Spike, which is two times crit damage increase, which is really, really nice. What is her crit chance? 80%, so it's actually pretty high because it's that level one base stats. So if you have all her costumes, you have a green Gother passive, you have a pretty high chance to crit. Uh, I tested it out with her, and she did have a pretty high chance to crit. She cannot crit Margaret for the life of her, though, because her Margaret's crit resistance and all that is absolutely absurd. And then she has Sever, which is three times crit chance increase. So basically, if you crit, you're going to do big Unga Bunga damage, which this card can definitely wipe. Um, another interesting thing is, with her AoE Sever, I think it is? Maybe just both three cards as well. Uh, I saw a video where 
someone attacked into goddess Liz and it killed her and then it hit like the second time because it goes once and then twice. So it killed her the first time and then it killed goddess Liz through the revive the second time. So she died and died twice in the same turn. I was like, hey, yo, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I don't know if they've pit fixed it or if that's intentional. Uh, let me know down below if you guys know. Uh, but that, that, that's just an interesting little thing that I saw. And so now I'm going to go find a little bit and see what the banner was. I believe it was really bad. I believe. I think MK2 was on there and that's literally all I wanted. But yeah, I'll just be back in just a second. All right. So we have my live stream pulled up from what I streamed. Uh, it looks like we had Red Eason and Mono at 0.5%. We had MK2 at 0.2%. Uh, blue mono red lilia camilla and do i go all the way down i don't remember i do shin red oh, god damn it tony what are you doing what no i i clicked backwards why did i do that oh my goodness i hate youtube do i not even okay i do so it's Camilla, Shin, Red Roxy, R Blue Easton, Green Valenti, Blue uh, Lilia. So the only one that I could even consider somewhat meta is the uh, the MK2. Like all the other ones, I have never seen in PvP besides Red Lilia, and uh, the occasional every few thousand matches is Camilla. Like ever since Pierce died, Blue Lilia has been completely useless. And so that's why, and it's only a 3% SSR rate as well, so it's very low chance to even pull out an SSR, even though I had some insane luck, I'm not gonna lie, like I had some really good luck on this banner, but it still is just like, eh, I, I, don't, I don't think it's worth, uh, so I highly suggest, highly, highly, highly suggest, unless they're your top tier waifus, to absolutely skip this banner, because if you guys don't know, we have this new unit coming out, um, right after this banner, I believe, oh my goodness, ads can literally drop dead. Uh, which they have a card called crush uh, Go through and even at rank one uh, oh Wait, no, is it this card? Yeah, it's this card So it disables buff skills and rank two and above skills on all enemies and decreases skill ranks of all enemies at the end of the turn for one turn So what this allows you to do is be able to de or stop Margaret from being able to cleanse the debuff So therefore you lower or stop it from using all rank two cards or above so you know like no heals or anything um and then it makes it so you can't cleanse and then you are able to decrease all their rank cards so the only way to get around this is actually using zeldris or a heal card so yeah uh, like the only way that's basically the only way uh you could use just a rank one heal you know with a king but at rank three uh which is going to be very difficult again since you can't actually get the actual gother like the rank up gother uh, then they disable everything, but that's very, very rare. Maybe if they have one or two units left, but at that point, you probably win. So, yeah, L let me know down below, guys. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to be summoning for the Awakened Eastern Mono? Are you guys going to save for Gother? Are you guys going to skip for the banner after... Yeah, after that, because we haven't gotten a banner on JP after the Gother. Uh, I'm very curious what we're going to get. I assume it's going to be on a, a Halloween unit, but, you know, we haven't seen it yet. So, let me know down below what you guys think. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Consider beco becoming a member as well. It would greatly appreciate it. It greatly helps the channel. Especially when I have to summon on three banners in like a month. Because they're must summon units pretty much. Or I do it for content. But this banner with Awaken Mono and Eason is just a skip. I have them on JP. I don't really need them. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace out. And best of luck on summons if you do. Take care.